guys and welcome back to my Dark Souls Mage walkthrough. Um, in this video we're going to end up taking out the boss of this area. Um, just want to go ahead and say that I've, um, I've leveled up somewhat since the last time you saw me. Well, I just got the souls. Not, not actually leveled up. But, yeah. Uh, what I was doing is I was just farming around here really, just picking up some items. But, um, so I thought I'd save leveling up until I started streaming again. So, I just want to put some, dump some points into vitality for now. And a little more into intelligence, I think. I think that's lovely. Uh, that'll last us for now, make us a little bit stronger and give us a little bit more life. Um, I think I'm going to leave a torment where it is at 16. But I'm going to bring that endurance up some. So my next points I'm going to dump into endurance. Bring that to roughly, roughly right about 20. Just give us a little more uh, item load. Right, so. As you saw in the last video, we've actually taken care of everything in this area now. We're talking care of the NPC and everything, so the only last thing to do now is actually go ahead and kill the boss of this area. And ring the bell. I think it's the bell in this area. We'll also be tackling her, um, going back up there, that way, once we've done all this, so stay tuned for that. Now, like I said before, don't worry about being poisoned. It's really inevitable at this point in this place. So, we're just going to fight through it. And be on a merry way. Ba -ba 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 -ba. So, okay, so let's take care of our poison now. Don't want to be going into your poison. Don't worry about these guys. Um just want to heal up a little bit. Now if you do use your humanity, you are, it actually heals you. So. But we can actually bring in Manny to Mildred. It's, that's the NPC we killed in the last video. So. She can be our meat shield. No, I'm actually going to play this video through. It's kind of disturbing. <laughs> Such a pretty face. Now you can actually stagger like this with this boss. All you have to do is just keep pounding at um at the I don't even know a name. Maybe I should get get to know a name if I destroy her. Just make sure you stay out of the lava pits. Obviously, it's kind of really obvious. As you can see, we're doing some tremendous damage to her. The damn man, we've wrecked her. No mind, tremendous damage. Well, that was easier than I expected, and quicker than I expected. 
Well, with her being dead, now we can go on to ring our next bell. Like I said, we really only wanted Mildred here to actually be a meat shield. Okay, so we'll continue down these steps. Now, there's gonna be, I think it's the actual woman we just beat actually. But she's gonna actually be down here. Is it down here? This way. So yeah, just trying to get my bones. Uh, you no, know, this is not the way. But I might do that uh, boss fight as well in this video. That's actually another boss fight. But since we just took care of one boss really easy, might as well try and do the next one. I think it's a secret bomb. Yeah, that's it. Come on, move your ass. Let me in, let me in. Now you this is a, this, she's actually a convent and um, you can actually kill her later. She actually gives you a uh fight keeper song. But well, what we want to do at the moment is to enter the convent. This will also get you uh No, I don't that yet. This will also get you a trophy by the way. Ah, so now it actually lets you choose how much humanity to give her. Now we're going to actually give her 30. Uh, to get the Chaos uh, Storm, which is the better finger. And that's it. That's all we want to do with her. Now you can... Is it? I can't remember if it's actually this guy or not that actually um he's got spells as well. Like I said before, I'm just gonna put a point in dexterity uh, endurance. Sorry, being up a little bit more. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna try and get the majority of the spells in this playthrough. Now the point being is our humanity is really low, so let's just go ahead and just boost that up a little bit. This is actually a shortcut later on. Yeah, I missed my turn. I did, didn't I? That's so yeah, let's go and take out, um, I forgot, is it Salus's Discharge? Something Discharge, I know that. Let's go and try and take that out. While we're here. Now I know that there's like three different ways to killing this boss, but I'm just gonna show you the way that I actually know. It's actually a, a cheesier way. I mean there is a cheesy uh way, but still the one I really know. Now you can actually just fall down here and just go that way, but I won't recommend it. You lose a bit of life, it's not worth it. 
Now there's no NPC for this um, this boss fight. To be truthful, I want you to know what you're doing with an NPC in this boss fight because there's really no place for the NPC to be standing. You'll see more when we get in. So I'm just trying to remember um, when this boss actually triggers. Don't think it triggers until you actually hit it. Come on. Really? God damn it. There we go. It's not... <sighs> shit. I was not expecting that. Ah, <sighs> no way. My bad guys, I was really too close to it to begin with. Don't need to be in human form anyway, so don't feel it. Mm, yeah. And yeah, I thought you took damage. Now this time the boss is gonna be here waiting for us. Should be anywhere. Just heal up a little bit. Thank you for following common room routes. Common the route. Appreciate it. Yeah, you can talk in chat if you want. Well, you don't. You don't really have to. But thank you for the follow. Don't forget, guys, if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like and subscribe. Do 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 do. Right. So. Let's try this again. So obviously he's still not, he's not triggered. Really don't like getting this close to this guy. Okay. need to get to that corridor okay so now he'll come round now this might take a little bit of time but this is the only way I know how to actually cheese this guy I mean there is a way of knocking him into the lava but to be truthful I've never done that so I don't I won't be doing it so we just stand back and let him sweat the ground. So we just need him to keep at that side. 
As soon as you go on the ends back like that to move. Let his hand come through the wall. We'll try some spells on him. See if we can get him down a little bit faster. Just be careful because he can actually hit you through the wall. Don't knock on. I'm terrified that I'm going to fall through that wall in a minute. So as you can see, not too hard. All you got to do is just make sure that he doesn't hit you through the wall. So as soon as he leans back like that, just get right through in the corner and that's it. Come back and just lay into him a few arrows. He'll try to move, but as long as you're standing here, he'll just keep coming back. Oh yeah, got the second one as well. Nice. So yeah, like I said, like I said, as long as you just stand here, you're always to keep trying to get to you. And th th this is how I found for it to be really easy. I mean, like I said, there's, there's like more more ways to kill this guy, but like I said, I'm only comf comfortable doing the way I know. So we're not getting them on the second ones now. Just one more round should probably do it. There we go. Nice and easy. Just don't forget to actually run over here. There's actually some um, armor over here. Now what that does now, that lets us go to the um, the demon runes itself. Because that dries up all the lava. But we'll be doing that at a later date. We're not doing that right now. We've got no reason to really. Now you see this armor here, what we just picked up, if you guys don't already know, this gives us protection against fire. So, when we go in, into the other area soon, um, yeah, it gives us a, a better, bit, uh, or a bit, little bit better um, protection against fire. Now I am going to actually walk out of here. What I want to try and do is, I want to try and pick up the ember before we head back. Now, um, this can be a little bit tricky because we've got uh, Taurus Demons. Uh, I don't know if you can see them from this angle yet. Mm -hmm. um, my PS4 isn't good enough. Oh yeah, there you are. You can see them there. There's about eight or nine of them. Now we're going to try and take them out. To actually... Um, get the uh, uh it's one of the embers for the blacksmiths so just let me look at the time oh yeah 
Got plenty of time. So yeah, we're going to try and take them out really quick. Do, 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 do. Sorry guys, I just like to um, break into a song every now and then for no apparent reason it seems. You can't go wrong with a bit of a sing and a song. A sing and a song. I mean sing song. Oh well. You guys know what I mean. I'm just losing my marbles. So yeah, we're just going to try and get through those Taurus Demons. I don't know if we're strong enough to actually beat them or not yet, but I'm going to give it a good try. Why not? try and get one at a time now another thing to note is once we kill these these won't respawn well if we kill them shall I say oh yeah I'm doing, doing really good damage on these guys so not really that much to worry about so that's one down So as long as we just get them at one at a time, we should be okay. There's a possibly chance that we're going to run out of um, spells. That's two. Looks like two more. Uh, four, three, five, five more. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have two this time. This is gonna be a problem. Shouldn't really be a problem, but. Oh, why did I stop, man? Your flipping finger slipped off the analog. Move. Flipping egg. If I went for the back of the fourth edge. Okay. And then there was three. Right. We're not going to have enough spells. So let's just put the... This set on really quick. Heal up. And see if we can get across. No, we can't. Which we took way too much damage then. So, on a positive note, 
At least we got our spells back. <laughs> but yeah, no, I'm going to leave this then. Because there's no way we're going to be able to get it. We'd, we don't have enough fire resistance, it looks like. We can't even make it across the first part. Now, there is a ring that lets us do cartwheels. So, we'll probably be using that to try and get across there. With this gear. Uh, what I might do is just take out these last three. I mean, come on, there's only three left. Let's just change back into our sorcerer gear. Ah, I believe it's that. That'll do. Really need the headpiece, really. Damn, I staggered him. That just leads one more. And as you can see, the other guys haven't respawned, just like I said they wouldn't. Okay. So, let's hold them taken care of. Now this bloody web armor is supposed to protect us against fire. It's, it says in the thing. And it's offers strong resistance versus fire poison and other. Maybe if we get lighter. Put um, Havel's ring on. Now I'm sure the pyromancy gives us um, resistance to fire as well. Let's shove that on. Ah, oh, here we go. So, that wasn't even the item we wanted. I don't think we're going to do it. And I don't have a, sac a ring of sacrifice, neither. I don't think I have a ring of sacrifice, let me just check. No, I don't. See, if we had a ring of sacrifice now, we could just run in the grab it, die, and that'd, that'd be the last of it. But, sorry guys, we're gonna have to run in the grab it, die, and then come back and pick our souls up. No, no, I can't even stand up. Ah, god dang it. Well, just let me go run down there and grab the missiles. And we will... We'll leave this part to later. Where's my flipping wand? There it is. Now, um, the boss of the, the other area... We actually get um, a ring while well, this is walk on lava anyway, so we can just wait until we get that. It's not a, not a really big deal now. I just don't want to waste you, your guys' time anymore. I'm just going to run down there and get my, my um, souls and then teleport back. And then I'll, I'll leave this video there then. And we'll start the next video on making our way back to Firelink Shrine.
and probably in the next video we'll end up doing the um, cat catacombs get them out of the way pick up yet another good uh, weapon good sword if you guys were doing the strength build I mean the grave gravekeepers um, sword is really really strong and really really good for beginning areas the problem is though you need like 26 strength and uh, 13 dexterity to actually wield it but yeah good sword nevertheless um i went through my um strength build with just that sword so and i picked it up oh well i picked it up mid mid range but i have actually started um a new playthrough just using that sword from the beginning from the get-go oh i so want that bloody item it's all right it's all right We'll come back for it. Now I won't cut the video here. What I'll do is I'll cut the video when we get back to um, the other um, bonfire. Yeah, that's what I meant. The blight time bonfire. So let's just go ahead and change back into our gear. Not the knights, elite knight. Um, elite knight and then sorcerers. And then we want the busted aiming. So yeah, not too bad guys. Two bosses in one video. Pretty sweet if you ask me. I like that, I like that, I like that. So like I said, we're just going to head all the way back over here. And then we'll tackle this in the next video. Well guys, that's all for now, so don't forget to like and subscribe and um, I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye for now.